Hello and welcome to Nail It with the Confidence and Sample Size Calculator brought to you by the sole proprietor of the Stat Cave. Come see me at cranksmytractor.typepad.com slash statcave slash. Pretty tough address to remember, isn't it? First, let's look at the calculator or Excel file. It's available at cranksmytractor.typepad.com slash statcave for download. I put a lot of work into this. I tested it to make sure that it nails the answers, but I cannot guarantee everything. I can't support glitches. I'm not going to be there in the middle of the night. When in doubt, start over with a new file you have not fiddled with. And when I say fiddled with, I mean you've been pushing or clicking or whatever, entering stuff. Start over with a new file. It's available. Otherwise, you should be fine. Now, as far as the calculator goes, when we open it up, you'll notice there's five different tabs at the bottom. That's five different calculators. I'm going to show you examples of each. So please do not have a hissy fit and say, Oh, I don't care. I can't find this calculator. The tabs are at the bottom. All right. Let's work a problem. Let's say we're given construct the confidence interval for the population mean mu. You know, mu is that fancy little m. Where the confidence is 95%, the x bar is 7.5. x bar is just an x with a line over it. And sigma, is population standard deviation, is 0.4. And n equals a 65. Let's take a look at this one. So on this one, I'm going to make sure I click down there, the confidence interval for Z. Okay, the confidence is 95%. X bar is 7.5. Let's see, so I'm going to put in 7.5. Um, the sigma is 0.4. The population standard deviation, 0 0.4. Sample size is 65. Bazinga put that in there and we should get a 95% confidence interval so I go out to the right of 95% it is rounded to three decimals 7.402 to 7.598 if I needed to round it to two decimals it would be 7.40 to 7.60 because that 8 bumps that 9 up to a 0 bumps that 5 up to a 6 so you will notice there that I put in my population standard deviation, my sample size, my sample mean. There they are, purple, red, blue. And my answer is circled in yellow. So the answer is 7.403 to 7.597. Or if I rounded it to two decimal places, 7.40 to 7.60. Let's look at another one. Construct the confidence interval for the population mean mu. The confidence is 98%. X bar is 22.5. Sigma is 5.0. And N equals 100. N equals 100. It's bigger than 30. So we're going to use this first one, CI for Z. Okay, because the sample size is greater than 30. Let's just enter our information in. The population standard deviation, or sigma on this one, was 5.0. All right, the sample size was 100. The sample mean, or X bar, was 22.5. Now, they want 98%. Now, it may be that yours is set to 80% here. All you have to do is go in and just put 98. Boom. It gives it to you. Remember, I give you the 99, the 95, the 90. If you need something different, just enter the percentage right here. You don't even have to put the percentage sign. 
would be, you just put in 98, hit the enter button, 21.337 to 23.663. We nailed it. We just nailed it. So there you go. What did I do? I put in the population standard deviation, sample size, mean. I typed 98 right there. My answer is out to the right. 21.337 to 23.663. Always make sure you round to the proper number of decimals. If they wanted this to two decimals, that would be 21.34 to 23.66. I set these calculators up to automatically give you 99%. 95% and 90% confidence intervals, but you can choose a different confidence right there.